with this group, we're really trying to explore what problems exist in the world and what can we solve with VR and why VR to solve it. I think VR is just one of the core technologies along with robotics, AI and space and and like genetic technologies that I think will provide the next growth drivers for humanity and there's so many just like different and amazing use cases of VR especially in like healthcare, industrials, military and also gaming. Particularly as we're trying to develop a lab of developers in our school and so it's I think it's good to understand better the hardware and the software and how these things mix and and what innovations are being made in the field in order to really develop well for that. But also to kind of ask more questions and explore what the people in the field right now think about the potential and possibilities for VR. I don't need a budget to make a to make a film as if I'm making a, a real life production. Um, so I can put my camera anywhere. I can light it how much I like. I don't need to pay anything. Just everything will be in the game engine. So that kind of freedom really. Uh, post me into the world of VR. I'm personally really interested in how we can make storytelling more interactive because you see with like the traditional format of storytelling of just words on paper, um, it could be more engaging. So through interactive platforms like video games and now you're seeing VR games, you can find more ways to actually involve and engage the player more. So I'm thinking with VR, we could take storytelling to a new level. Well, I first started in VR just cause like, um, I don't know that, that like allure I always used to watch like from movies like oh Ready Player One or I used to watch a bunch of shows like Sora Online and being like a virtual world and be able to like fully immerse yourself with something that you can't really do from playing a game or something on a TV screen or from watching a movie VR is able to kind of like bridge that gap between between your reality and all these virtual worlds that you can create using using technology. I took a class last semester in Abu Dhabi. Uh, it's talking about the uh, philosophy of like VR and then like how VR interact with human uh, and how it's gonna affect human's life, uh, right? And then that's how it kind of inspired me, like make me really interesting to VR. So one big thing is with this lab, trying to get more of a community around it in our school. So to get more people to be excited about developing for VR in Shanghai. But also my senior capstone project is related to education accessibility and education technology. And I'm really interested in exploring how we can use emerging technologies like VR to make education more accessible and equitable and also more experiential and hands-on. We have dance students dancing in VR. They might be shy. They might be not comfortable, other people seeing their body because they're beginner in dancing, but once they're put into the VR environment, they could be dancing anywhere without the interruption of the real world. So we had sessions with dance students. We also have sessions with product design students who uh, use VR. Um, first, they wear like um, um, equipment to limit their joints movements and, so, and put some weights on their body to uh, simulate uh, what it feels like uh, to be old. So then they are asked to do their day-to-day -day activities in VR, like fishing, cooking, or just do uh, any jobs in the job simulator. And then they will, later they're asked to design a product for the elderly uh, community. That way they will have better emphasis uh, towards the community and they can uh, design better products, hopefully. On one of them is fundraising um, money for a uh, VR startup. And I do that because I want to help grow the VR market as a whole through not with one company, but bringing money into the entire market as a whole. And then I also have some augmented reality projects I'm doing, such as I want to place holograms all over the cities of New York and Shanghai skyline. Uh, I'm really interested in uh, not only VR uh, game, but also the haptic gloves or like the vest. I was trying to build uh, a haptic gloves. I need to learn how to like make the game, how to um, write coding, how to, how to do like 3D model to build my prototype. 
I think VR can change literally everything. Literally everything. I think most of the things that you might be dissatisfied with about real life, a lot of them can be solved with VR. For example, I know a lot of people, they can use VR as self-expression to cross lots of language and appearance and country borders. And a lot of other people can use VR as more accessible education or accessible experiences, even like just from the comfort of their own home. So I think VR takes down a lot of borders and makes more like a lot more possibilities. Mixed reality with just trying to, with even if it's not like technology related tasks, but say if someone's working like uh, my parents, they own a glazing company. So they're interested in using like mixed reality tasks or even using VR experiences to try to like train different workers and even doing like construction tasks, like putting up frames and doing like general like training that, that usually you don't want to be wasting material on just doing training, training over and over again. But if you're in like a VR and MR experience, you're able to replicate that same training without having to, without having to use as many resources. I hear often that there's this thought that the problem with VR and why it's not really taking off as much as some other technologies have, like the web for example, is that there's not like a killer app that is getting people to really need to use VR. And I think that it actually has more to do with the killer problem, like what is really the problem that we can solve with this. And so I think that with this group we're really trying to explore what problems exist in the world and what what can we solve with VR and why VR to solve it. So mine obviously is related to education, but I think that that problem expands way beyond. And our starting point was actually to ask people, what's the thing you hate most about reality and how can we improve that in VR? I, I just hope the VR, the whole VR market could be getting better and better.